Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave comments below, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know Dream Team is when we upload new content. It's that time again. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Our weekly Utah Jazz update. Yes. <laughs> Listen, man, they just started another winning streak. What's that, three in a row? 17 three. of the last 18? No. That's three. Five. Excuse me, no, I'm wrong. That's six. Six. That's six. Yeah. That is six. Six in, six in a row. Yeah. That's definitely six in a row. Mm-hmm. That time flies, wow. 17 you, of the last. You're thinking about the last three that we watched. Yeah, let, yeah, no, right, nah, they, they. That's six in a row. That's mm-hmm. definitely six in a row. Yeah, they beat the Bucks tonight. They they dominated them, man, in in a balanced attack, man. If you look, the last wait the win streak they haven't lost. What with the exception of what the Indiana game, every game has been ten points or more as far as wins Easy go. Easy picking. Yeah. Yeah. They looking like a real championship team. They are, man. I, they, they Clarkson had what twenty five tonight. Well, we're talking about the Bucks game. It, it got so bad to where if you look at uh, Giannis, <laughs> Giannis called Utah the best team in the Western Conference, man. Like that's that's what happens when you beat when you beat somebody <laughs> down the way the Utah beat down Milwaukee. That's what happens. They, they the best in the Western Conference. No, so you are basically saying they the Best in the league. Well, that's why they number one. Yeah, they number one. Should have came ready to play, Giannis. I can't really put that on him, man. They they just were they were outmatched, man. <laughs> it's like, yo, he, he came to play, but they they were just outmatched. I think it was like four or five players on Utah team that had what twenty plus points. Gobert twenty seven, Donovan Mitchell twenty six, Angles twenty seven. Clocks and 25. Mm. Off the bench. Bon Jonovich only had nine, though. Yeah, but when look at the balance, man. <laughs> like, did they really need him to score? No, I think they won I by mean, like Anybody what? else would have scored. That, I mean, this don't they, even the, the final score don't even match. No, nah, because they were like up the, early. Yeah. Going out throughout it, the game. The final score don't match what the, what the score is. And they've been playing some quality teams, man. They played Boston during this current win streak. I know they beat Atlanta, Indiana. Uh, Milwaukee tonight. Listen, man, they are who they are. They Pistons, just, Hawks, Hornets, Pacers, Celtics, Bucks. Yeah. And listen, we already said that we were going to talk about these. The, the, the Utah fans deserve this. Oh, they're doing all right. Right? No doubt. And we said we were going to talk about them every week, no matter what. Right? So they had this week. Boston. Boston. They smacked them. They smacked them around. Yeah. Bucks. They smacked them around tonight. Yes. Two down. One to go. What's the one? Miami. Is that really the one? Eastern Conference. Eastern. Listen. Nah, because they got Philly on Monday. That's the, that's. We can't say one to go. They don't won six call, in a row. I'm, we gonna keep saying one one to go. Nah, you got it. Monday. Monday starts the second. The next week. Yeah. We said we're going to talk about them every week. So, we, I mean, we can we cannot hold up. Not two. First of all, these are teams, Boston, who I don't believe that they're they there. And as a matter of fact, you stated earlier that Boston has reached their peak. Yeah, the window may have closed. Yeah, and the Bucks. But early on, you got to understand all the analysts. Had these as top teams, and Utah was not mentioned. Mm-mm. Smack them, smack them. Easy picking. I think they beat them by ten plus for sure. But it would it would have been more. Yeah, it would have been more. Most of them, I mean, fourth quarter. If they if they really had to turn it up on them, it would have been it could have been worse. They came out the game and the bench made it look close. I mean, come on. You want a dub is a dub, man. A dub is a dub. Yeah, man. Yeah. But I think um. We we mentioned about you. We spoke about how uh, Clarkson is the sixth man of the year, right? Mm-hmm. 
we got to roll with that now. But I guess Quinn Snyder going to have to take that coach of the year too, right? Man. Because <laughs> well, I no mean, one stated if, that they if, – If things stay the way they, the, way yeah, they, go, I mean, where yeah. they are, yeah, I mean, it's still – I mean, we can't it's put it out there right? like they, this is what they're going to – I mean, can they sustain this? I haven't seen – It's not a fluke for sure, though. It's not a fluke, but yeah. can they sustain – I'm not talking about as far as winning, but – the way they're winning yeah. and the shooting percentages that they're shooting yeah. as a team yeah. that can is that even that's history it, right it is and, and another thing is they they defend well too so that's what makes it that's the hurdle there like we can talk about three pointers all we mm-hmm. want but I they, think they can play all styles of i yeah. mean when you watch them it's they exciting shoot. ball. Like, it's not typical Utah ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not typical NBA ball. They adjust, they, as much as I tell you that they shoot threes, a lot of threes, but it's the way they move the ball. They shoot a lot of three, a lot of open threes. And then <laughs> wait, the way Angles was pulling up, yeah, man, yeah. tonight, it'll, you give him an inch and you can. I watch a lot of possessions, man, where they just, they're getting quality shots in eight seconds or less. Yeah, everything. They're pushing the ball down and draw a defender. And you can't really help off. So if Donovan Mitchell going downhill, you got to pick your poison. What, what you want? You want yeah. what that? And I love the way he's playing. Yeah, he's playing within himself. Uh, yeah, within, within himself. And, and my, man, remind me. Conley didn't play this. <laughs> yeah, <it's> Conley <laughs> not even playing. And and, I, and that sounds strange because yeah. Conley struggled last year. But he's not struggling this year. Nah. And he, he didn't even – he haven't even – and neither one of these games that we're talking about, about, he didn't even play. But it goes back to what we talked about on like um, our Western Conference preview in the beginning of the year. But the Conley situation is that I think he's excelling now because defined role. Like early on, I guess most people, even myself, I was like, they need the Mike Conley from Memphis. The, almost their all-star quality type play. No, they don't need that. They, they need- have balance, man. It's all across the board. Yeah, as a it's a team. It's a team. That's why that's why we enjoy watching. Mm-hmm. And that's why we're doing weekly updates, yeah. man. Yeah, they deserve it, man. Number one in the West. Mm-hmm. Another six game win streak once again against quality teams. No, that's that's disrespectful. And and you know what we said this all the time. What? This they number one in the West. No, they're number one in the league. They got the best record in the league. Yeah, but you just said Giannis said they they the best team in the West, and so if you say in the West, you pretty but much when, say yeah. Like, but <laughs> when you say when when we say when we say the best in the West, people think we're trying to limit them. And I'm yeah, telling I can you, understand that, but I, I I really want the Laker, I want the Utah fans to really really enjoy this. All right, so all right, listen, that's just semantics, but whatever. They number one in the in the, the entire NBA. Entire NBA. Yeah, they, they, not, they, they are. They, they are. Yeah. Right. And they look like it. They do. Yeah. They, and they believe it. Mm. Not fluke wins, man. No, it's for real. It, it, they, it's for real. They're they on fire. They are. Yeah. They are. Mm-hmm. So Quinn Snyder, shout out to you, man. Yeah. Is it Utah Jazz? Utah Jazz, take note. Like they. Y'all playing some great ball out there. Shout out to all the Utah Jazz fans from Team Sports directly to you. Y'all deserve it, man. And we're going to repeat this. Utah is a small market if you – but they, for whatever reason, man, Mm -hmm. them in San Antonio have set the blueprint as far as whatever the the term rebuild means because – it's, the lights are never off over there, man. Yeah, but I, I know, exactly. It's organizations. Yeah. And, and when, when, when you have a, a good organization, this is what you see. I mean, Utah are never really out of it. We, we said this how many yeah. times. That, I mean, as far as championships, but they're always right there in the playoff hunt. Mm-hmm. When they're supposed to be rebuilding, I mean, they got lucky. I believe by being able to grab up Donovan Mitchell mm-hmm. because I didn't expect that from him. No, from what he's doing, yeah. and and then watching him, he, he he the way he plays within himself, like like you said, he plays within himself. He makes the right pass. He wants to win. Right play. And you see it? Yeah. I think last year's playoff loss. Mm-hmm. It, it like it, I don't. He matured 
over in the off season. It's weird. I can't really put it into but he words. But always you, appeared to be mature. But and you then you see then the something organ- different. But though. then look, this is what happened. Then the organization, like we said, mm. it's about organizations. The organization didn't hesitate. They saw the talent, and they took care of him. His contract. Yeah, I remember the day he did it. He <laughs> Jumped all, it, it ran, <laughs> jump, ran, jumped into his pool, but you know what? And he's giving back in return what the organization paid him for. And when these guys get paid a lot of money, yeah. you know what? And this is what it's all about. But when your star player plays like that, guess what happens? Everybody. Other notable free agents want to come ball with him exactly. too. Exactly. And yeah. let's not forget about the unsung heroes. We talked about, you know, Bogey. He only had nine points tonight against tonight, but, but he's been balling. Ingles, he's a baller. Yeah. Donovan Mitchell, go bad. They're gonna get the headlines, but toughness. We got to talk about Derek Favors and Royce O'Neal. Mm-hmm. You're talking about picking up players that fit the culture, organizational moves. Yeah, this is why they're always in it. Mm-hmm. You're right. So shout out to the Utah Jazz once again here at Team Sports Entertainment. We will be having a weekly update of the Utah Jazz. Another six-game win streak. They won 17 out of the last 18. And remember, I don't care if you're playing the Clippers or you're playing the Wizards. It's still an NBA team. For you to smack a team around by 15-plus on a nightly basis, Mm -hmm. you're top tier. And this is why they're the number one team in the league. I'm excited about Utah. No doubt, man. So once again, this is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave comments below. Utah Jazz fans out there, are you excited? I am. (laughs) I know you are. (laughs) Are you excited? I know you are. I know you are. Do you see a Western Conference final or finals appearance in the near future? Mm. Are you you ready to take home the sixth man of the year and the coach of the year? You don't have no shout outs that you want to give out? Oh, oh, in the comment section, yeah. Shout out to um, Orion one two three two. He's been uh, yeah, yeah, engaging a lot. Shout out to the whole Utah Jazz fan base out there. Some fans from the Philippines subscribing to the channel. Yes, Utah. I don't know if you guys know, but you have fans all across this world. Exactly, and it, and, and it's sad that right here, we they don't talk about the Jazz as much. Mm-hmm. And they have a lot you of You're talking about in the States. In States. Yeah. They don't talk about the Jazz. No. But we're going to change all that. Oh, no doubt. Right here at Team Sports, Utah Jazz. Weekly updates. Weekly. As of now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there might be more. <laughs> I'm with that too, man. So don't forget, leave the comments below. What do you see your team finishing? Are you excited about the future? I know you are. Tell me your favorite player below. Hit the notification bell. Become a dream teamer. That way you know when we upload new content. Once again, this is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm your host, Earl Tima. Big Unk over there. My co-host. And we up out of here. Utah Jazz fans, take note, ladies and gentlemen. They the real deal. Peace.